Oh. Our next patient, his name is Yiri, he's quite an older patient, uh, he's 79 years old and so um, he has come in a few months back and so I'm only doing adjustments for him and um, we can take a look and now see why because um, there's quite a bit of uh, destruction that is going on in his spine. Uh, the whole spine has a lot of uh, uh, degenerations and also compressions all on every disc, every level. Uh, and so uh, we can see from the lower lumbar, um, if you take a look at really close, you can see how compressed and there's small deviations everywhere. You can also see how the how the body, the, uh, the intelligence of the body, because when it sees that it's being, the discs are being destroyed, that the, it, it uh, forms these spurs, <laughs> yeah? And it's really, this is intelligent design because what ha what's happening is it's sensing that the body is being destroyed and so the spine is being destroyed, the soft uh, tissue. So it's embracing itself. It's, uh, it is um, seeing that uh, it, it, it's doing um, a stabilizing um, uh, factor. Yeah. So it really is amazing yeah, when, you, when you take a look at this. So going further, you're looking at the, the side view of the thoracic, you can see all these degenerations. Yeah, all of it. And also the spine is being a hypercorphotic curve, yeah, because it's it's making space for the upper uh, area here yeah, where the where the where the where the nerves uh, branch out of it in order to make more room for the for the nerves. So you can take a look at the upper thoracic region. Now there's small deviations everywhere. But the whole spine is completely, it almost feels like it's fused. When you adjust them, there's very little, very little uh, flexibility. Um, and that's, that's another protective mechanism. And of course, when you look at the side view, it, it's total, uh, the, the discs are almost not there. And you can see it's got a little case of spondylolisthesis. So where, whereas the, whereas the, the, the discs have shifted forward, yeah. So uh, it's, so in a patient like this, we gotta adjust them very carefully and, and uh, slowly. And he has been making some uh, progress, uh, definitely, yeah. But it is, uh, it's one of these cases where you can, uh, you know, it's, He's uh, quite old now, and it's um, what has happened to his body. Nobody's able to help him. Uh, and at this later stage, uh, we can try to do as much as I can uh, without drugs to to give him some uh, relief. Yeah, and uh, you can see how how there is uh, how it's compression rotations all over his, his neck as well. His neck is very stiff and very forward. I'm very forward, very hard to adjust, but it is coming down. Take a look at that. Have you ever seen anything like that? So this is also considered somebody, an x-ray that has like this is gonna have uh, problems with the shaking, you know, with the, why? Because all the nerves going going to the going to the uh, the hand are going to be blocked. Okay, so this is considered Parkinson's disease, but it's not. It's something is happening. It's all the nerves being blocked. Parkinson's disease is nothing but the nerve problem, huge problem with the neck going forward and all the nerves being blocked. And so the body is shaking because it needs to produce dopamine. Dopamine is a happy hormone. Because it's losing the communication, yeah. So this is why it's uh, shaking like that. So that's that's it right there. So so let's now we're going to see how 
I, I'm gonna adjust this uh, patient slowly and see what we can do with it. Okay, let's go. Let's find some of the high profile. Yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah. And there's almost no rhotonic uh, curve whatsoever. Yeah. So, but it's actually much, much better. Than the, than the first time he came in. Yeah, getting comfortable, get the muscles and the nervous system ready for. When the spine is, is in that sort of state of protection, So the neck is once again it's complete forward and it's a lot of it's very stiff almost unmovable but we've got it we've been able to adjust it
Okay, so take a look at this now as I'm adjusting his neck. His neck is almost not, not able to go. You can see that it's there's a lot of resistance here. Okay, I just want you to feel what I feel. Like, like there's almost no rotation. You see that here and here? You see how it, this was completely blocked the uh, first time. At least now there's a little bit of flexibility. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of adjustment here. We're going to try and enforce it this way. Just, just relax. There it is. A bit calm. So it does come a little bit. Not much. There it is. So he has to do some exercises at home. Yeah. But he was in complete, complete stress. It's subsided quite a bit. But still. I'm just trying to put a little bit of pressure on those vertebrae to try and, and uh, stimulate the nerves here. Okay. We're going to start it once again with the. Okay. Open your tolu. Mozek, open your tolu. Get the head all the way down. Just relax. Yeah. Okay, that's for the final. I just, yeah. Okay. We should have the other. Okay, let's go. Excellent. Uh -huh. 